Hello everyone, welcome to a small terrible channel. So, nandito na naman ako, nagpapasalamat sa inyo sa patuloy na pagsusuporta sa atong advokasya na tumulong sa ating mga students na kasal kasalukuyang uh, nagmodular. Alright, so sa ngayon, since it has something to do with mathematical equations here, this topic is something to do with compute computing. Alright, so you are going to use your mathematical skills there. So we will discuss this topic as um, slowly as we can so that you can get the concept. All right. So for the for the answers of the pretest and the posttest of this module, it is uh, written in the end part. So there's no need for me to mention it to you one by one. So what I am going to do is to uh, guide you to grasp the concept of this topic. Alright, so let's start now. So here are the objectives of this uh, lesson. First is you are going to solve the mass of solute, volume of solution, or the concentration of the solution, giving two variables. So we are going to start with the what I know. Alright, uh, for the answers of this part, you may just refer here all right you may just pause this video for you to take a look at it all right so let's proceed right away to the concepts so before we uh, start computing let's first recall that concentration of solutions can also be expressed qualitatively based on our previous uh, lesson so you can say that a uh, solution is uh, saturated saturated or super saturated and also recall that there are two components of solution we have the solute and the solvent uh, just recall that solute is the or solute is the component that is present in smaller amount while the solvent is the component that is present or comes in great quantity so for example um, for the sugar solution sugar is uh, the solute or shall we say, let's specify it, one half teaspoon sugar in the one cup water. So uh, we will call the sugar then as the solute, then the water is the solvent. Alright, so let's have this activity, the what to do. So coffee, salt, sugar, water. These are everyday items that we use at home. So this time, let's try to identify the type of solution given the, the item that we used at home. Okay, number one or letter A. Pour one tablespoon of salt to one glass of water and steam. Alright, so... Having this, pour the one tablespoon of salt to one glass of water and stir. So you may have the type of solution is unsaturated solution because all salt dissolves in water. Second, mix three sticks of coffee powder in one small cup of water and stir. So that's already saturated solution. The water has reached the maximum amount of coffee powder to be dissolved. So that's already the maximum amount the water can dissolve. Next, add 5 tablespoons of sugar in cup of water and stir. It was too sweet. So it's already a super saturated solution. And the appearance is that there are undissolved sugar at the bottom of the cup. So these are just my observations based on the 
uh, the activity I performed here so you may also perform this activity at home and uh, answer your observations here all right so the activity we made a while ago has something to do with um, describing qualitatively the concentration of solutions this time let's discuss the concentration of solutions quantitatively so we make uh, we need to apply our analytical and mathematical skills in these activities so we have to make use of this formula volume percent of a is equal to volume of component a divided by the total volume so for example if a solution of sugar in water is said to be 10% by volume, that means a 100 ml solution will contain 10 ml sugar. So let us check. Alright, so from the given example, using the formula, 10% should be here is equal to volume of component A. So the component in the example is 10. So we're going to write 10 in the numerator, then over the solution. Take note, it should be total volume for the denominator. So let us try to check using our calculator. Alright, so using our calculator, let's perform 10 divided by 100 equals 0.1. And for us to arrive at that percent symbol, we need to multiply it to 100%. And you have there 10%. So the given example is correct. This time, let's try to answer activity 1. So the situation is like, one way to prevent the pandemic is to wash our hands with soap and applying alcohol as a disinfectant. The active ingredient in alcohol is ethanol. As you read the label of the alcohol, it is 70% ethyl alcohol in a 250 ml bottle. With your curious mind, you want to know how many ml of ethyl alcohol is present in a 250 ml. What would you do? So this time, you are already given the volume of, of volume percent of, of volume percent of ethyl alcohol. Then, we're looking for the um, volume of uh, ethyl alcohol. And we are already given with the, or we are already given by that uh, total volume, which is 250 ml. So, all we have to do is to first identify the given. So, then, after identifying the given, let's identify what is asked also. And then, substitute the givens to the given formula. So, the givens are, let's just underline, 250 ml bottle, that's the total volume. Okay, let's have it the total then we have the volume percent of ethyl alcohol. This is the volume percent. So recall the formula. Volume percent. So we should write first the 70%. Then is equal to component. So we're looking for the component, by the way component volume of or volume of component which is the ethyl alcohol so we are going to let the unknown as x then divided by the total which is 250 all right so 250 ml okay so all you have to do then is we know that it's understood to have one here right a whole number has a denominator of 1 as always just cross multiply 
So what we have is 1 times x, that's x is equal to, so where did we get this x? It's 1 times x. Again, we multiply. Then, by the way, 70%, let's convert this to decimal. So for us to convert a percent symbol to decimal, just move two places to the left and put the decimal point okay that's the rule in changing from percent to decimal and for changing decimal to percent of course we're going to move two places to the right or you may simply um, perform the operation but let's just make it that way so simple so that you won't be confused so we have 0.70 this time let's have a zero as the yeah decimal there 0.70 all right um it's uh, multiplied right it's multiplied to 250 so because we cross multiply so we have here 250 Okay, so let's take a look what is the value of x then using our calculator. So using our calculator, let's have 0 0.70 times 250. So the answer is 175. So our x here should be 175. Okay, this should be 175. And take note, there's ml here, right? There's ml here. So we are going to, we are going to Okay, so we are just going to copy the unit okay so there's 250 here ml so our answer should be 175 ml so if you want to check just divide 175 ml divided by 250 using your calculator there then times 100 for you to get the percent symbol if you get 70% as the answer as a sort of check then your answer which is 175 ml which is the ethyl alcohol which is what we are looking for then you got it right so I hope in this first activity you do not find it uh, hard already so this is the complete formula for percent by volume. So it's percent by volume. This is the shortcut or the symbol. Vol is equal to volume of solute. So solute would be the numerator divided by volume of solution. It should be the solution, the volume of solution for the denominator. Some will confuse this denominator with the solvent. You got it wrong. You should be using solution then times 100 for you to get the percent so for this example let's discuss this in the succeeding succeeding tutorial i hope you still bear with me okay so i want to discuss it um, in the most easy way possible for you to really understand and grab the concept well so let's proceed to the next part or part of this um, module 5 tutorial <music>